Hello guys, my name is Fox and welcome to part 14 of our Baltic Crusader campaign in Europa and Stellar's form. Let's continue. So, in the previous episode, we've declared a war on Livonian order. Uh, because I decided to choose the opportunity of Lithuania, or take the opportunity of Lithuania uh, being at war with Moscow and Golden Horde. It is going decently well, but not as well as I would like it to, because Lithuania manages to actually sustain a, uh, an army of, like, full mercs. Like 24 fucking mercs. Even though they lost all of their manpower, they still sustain their army strength, and it is really, really not great for me because. Yeah, because of reasons. Because they're like crushing us, or can crush us. Is this guy gonna try to go around here and attack this army? I really hope not. But that's probably what they're gonna be trying to do. Um, what is there's Lithuanians in here? No. Okay. Um, lose ducats, gain corruption, or gain spy master. Okay. Again, spy, ma spy master. Where are you going? You're going to Narva now. Are you going to try to resiege Revel? Probably yes. Okay, Sweden, it would be real nice if you were to engage this army and get rid of them. But don't... Please don't, uh, like, stop Siege of Livland. So, Lithuania. For how long are you going to be able to sustain such a huge mercenary army? I hope not for too long. Because you should be picking up, like, huge amounts of debt. I really hope so, at least. Is there a way for me to actually see? Your elite is Poland. Let's go and check. Lithuania. Okay, it's, it shows that they are already at war with me, so... I couldn't really check their debt, debt this way. But I would assume that having, like, 25 mercs for a, like, two years... Should... <laughs> should, like, be really... Or should be costing a lot of money. Uh, Sweden also. How's your... Oh, okay, so your enthusiasm is really high. What about like your manpower and other stuff? You should have tons of manpower. Uh, okay, not tons. You have 5,000 manpower. Still better than nothing because I currently have zero. And my army still need 900 to fully reinforce. Get spy network construction or prestige. Let's get some prestige. Okay, come on, Livland. Just fall. Just fall. Come on. Oh, so where the heck is this guy's got such a great general from? 3 to 2 2. My goodness. That's not acceptable. You are not even like participating in that many battles to get yourself so much. Uh, so much army tradition. Also, looks like Lithuania is also coming around to reinforce. Okay, so we. Okay, maybe not. Maybe they're going for Muscovy. I really hope they're going for Muscovy. B by the way, how's this war? Okay, so they're going back and forth. Which is really great for me, because the, the longer this war gonna last, um, the more the, uh, Lithuania gonna suffer. And that's gonna be great for me. Oh, I hope... Oh, yeah, Lithuania probably could not move through Pskov, because there is actually Muscovite fort. So it's really nice. And come on, Livland, just fall. Come on, Livland, just fall. God damn it. If this guy's gonna siege down Revel quicker than you're gonna siege down uh, Livland, it's gonna be like extremely embarrassing, you know? Uh, what I actually could do with that, I could go and send my fleet in here. I know this guy's gonna like reinforce, but I think we should be able to handle some, right? Okay, there's go there goes Livland. Uh, are you not gonna engage these guys in Revel? Come on, it's a freaking war goal. Also, is there any chance this guy won't... A piece. Oh! Oh! Actually, I could piece out already. With two provinces for myself. Mm, why? Okay, admin points. I'm not getting or I'm not losing any diplo points. Getting two provinces actually might be what I should take for now. Because. If Lithuania were to like swoop around and engage us, it would be really not nice. But if we were to just take these two provinces and wait for the future opportunities, I think it's gonna be just better for me. Also, is this guy my rival? I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, actually, going for uh, humiliation would be really nice as well. But it's forcey war score, and I think if you could get that many, or that much rather. <sighs> Sweden, where are you going? Sieging down Riga. I guess, I guess we could, we could wait. If he's willing to give away his lands right now, 
I guess we could wait for a couple extra sieges. And if if there's gonna be a uh, a chance that Lithu Lithu like Lithuania gonna wipe our uh, wipe out our armies, then I'm gonna go and uh, get a peace deal. But for now we're actually like making gains, so we should be relatively fine. Mm hmm. And the problem is that they're about to receive rebel, and I do not like it at all because it's actually a war goal. Okay, at least they didn't siege it with 7% uh, with seven percent chance, because it would have been really uh, embarrassing and annoying. Mm, but yeah, when we're gonna lose Revel, it's gonna be quite a lot of war score. Huh. If only Sweden were to engage them, like, right away. I know Riga's, Siege of Riga is kind of important, but come on. Not as important as the war goal. Mm. <laughs> it would be real nice if I were to finish up Ledgele before they are gonna switch down uh, Revel. Then I might be able to get a even juicier peace deal. The problem with this peace deal is that Lithuania is in this war and they actually, just by just by staying in here, they actually like... Uh, they actually give some willingness for uh, for Livonian Order to stay. Mm, 28 against 14. Okay, no one succeeded. Also, let's go and get a blockade on Riga. Increase Swedish chances of uh, succeeding here. We should be able to receive down Revel quickly enough, right? And if these guys were to engage in, uh, us in here, Sweden should help. So I think even losing Revel as a as a siege shouldn't be really that crucial. Especially considering that the Lithuanian army is like nowhere to be seen right now. By the way, how is their army looking? How is their numbers looking right now? 24 mercenaries, 20 or 33, 32,000 troops. That's pretty scary. Also, I probably should not be using as many troops in Latgalia. Oh, this guy already wants out. If he were to be humiliated, I would actually accept it. But for, yeah, for me to get you humiliated, it would actually take a lot more effort. Mm, and I don't know if you actually could get as much war score. Mm, and they receive down Revel. Yeah, that's not nice. That's not nice of you at all. But we're about to siege down Riga and Latgele, and it's gonna cost more than Revel alone. And actually, piecing out Riga separately might be reasonable. Riga actually have a pretty sizable army in here. Like eight troops. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. Okay, so let's go and wait for Sweden to siege down Riga, then separate peace as this guy, and then go and take this army because then there's gonna be like eight less troops, and it's gonna be like really easy to to kill after that. Come on, just succeed with seven percent, please. Okay, maybe it's twenty-one then. Hmm. <laughs> Lithuania, you're still at war with Muscovy, right? Yes, you still are, and I actually see Muscovy army in here, which is a really nice sign. Um, unfortunately, my manpower is like... We're in a debt for manpower. Let's hope not for long. Oh, come on. Sweden, I I believe in you. You could succeed with 35%, right? Especially with my blockade in this place. Because if this guy gonna receive Livland as well, it would be not nice at all. Oh, nice. Okay, so Riga is down. Uh, now we should be able to separate peace here, right? Yeah. I couldn't take Riga, but what could I do? I could take war reparations from you. I could also annul your treaties. Why not? And take money from you. I go away, Riga. No one, no one likes you being in here. And now this army only consists of five, six, seven troops. Oh, but Sweden got Sweden got black flagged. You should not be black flagged when you enter this ar uh, land, right? Oh, this is stupid. Why are you not getting un black flagged when you're getting uh, into the siege town provinces? Seems kind of stupid to me. But you should get un black flagged when you're get, uh, gonna get to your own provinces. 
So let's go and wait for Sweden to come back. Or should I? I don't know. Actually, have we lost Warsker by pissing out Riga? Looks like we did. Okay, let's just go and engage this guy. Because he have a chance to resiege Livland soon. And I would not like this to happen. Then we would need to siege down Revel and then see what kind of Warsker we could get. It would be real nice to also like get Lithuania out of this war. By like any... By any way. Even j just White Peace would be of course like the best option. But Lithuania might not like to do this. We'll see. As long as Lithuania still stays at war with Muscovy, we are kind of safe. Oh, really? We're starting a Siege of Revel with such a terrible war score? Or uh, such terrible chances? Even though it's been like sieged a month before? Oh well. Um, let's go and leave a cannon. And let's go and leave like five. Oh no, not, not God damn it. Um, take all the Kev. Take all the most damaged regiments. Yeah, and leave something like this. Uh, and Sweden now gonna come back. Let's hope you're gonna go and like maybe chase down this guy's army and stack wipe it. Oh, we also could go and like siege on Narva again. Just for every single bit of war score. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Revel actually managed to re garrison itself. So it's gonna take us a little bit of time to siege it back down, but let's hope. Let's hope is Riga not being in here. Oh, Lithuania is at uh, low low enthusiasm. And they're willing to have... Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. They want a white piece. Is there a chance they could like, take land from you? Probably not. Hmm. But if they're willing to get white piece right now, it means that if we were to siege something down... Oh, look at this. There's also Lithuanian Particularists. Should they be greedy and try to take some lands from Lithuania as well in this war? It's probably gonna be too much, considering how hurt we are. So let's just go and peace out Lithuania and leave them for later. Or should we? Let's not peace them out quite yet. Because if they're willing to leave now, they would be willing to do this later as well, right? Right. And yeah, I really want my like cores back. If I were to be be able to at least get like one province back, I would I would be kind of be kind of happy. But for this to happen I would need to have at least one of the forts one of the Lithuanian forts to be switched down. By the way, where's Swedish army? Oh Okay. Sweden has like Bogomless heretics heretics all over him. Okay. I'm not gonna be too greedy. I'm just gonna go on white piece Lithuania. That should give us yeah tons of war score now. Because all of the forts all of the Lithuanian forts are not participating in this war. So now I should be able to like get tons of war score from this guy. So humiliation, probably all the provinces I can take. And just all the stuff. Um that would be unfortunate that my lands not gonna be like combined. Or not gonna be connected to each other because of Lithuania, but still, getting them back would be good enough. Uh, good enough of a thing. Mm, and we actually siege down rail with seven percent war score. Okay, ninety nine. Now you don't have any choice except like getting humiliated, and then giving me, giving me like three of these provinces. Could I actually like fully annex you? I couldn't, but I could take all the provinces except one. And it's not even gonna be as it's not gonna be even that expensive. I probably just gonna go and do that. Separate you from Riga. Yeah, that's actually gonna be nice. Sure. Go away, Livon in order. No one fucking loves you. Oh, that feels so damn good. We just like <laughs> Increase the size of our realm bar like two times because of all of this. Even though it's really crappy development, but it's still a it's still lands, and we do have like a core on one of these places, which is great. I'm just gonna start coring everything. Uh, actually, 
Should I be coring it right now? Because we have tons of war exhaustion, right? Should be increasing the cost by a little bit. Yeah, almost 9%. Let's go and wait a little bit for the... For... Uh, the war exhaustion to come down. By the way, we should now have a lot more army force limit. Or maybe not quite yet. Maybe we need to wait for the course to finish. So, uh, boats. We need to get back to protect and trade. Thanks, Sweden. He actually helped by, uh, by quite a lot, so I guess making him independent wasn't a waste after all. And yes, this guy is no longer available rival. That's not really surprising. Um, who's a, a an available rival, then? Poland, Muscovy, Hungary, Lithuania, <laughs> Brandenburg. Yeah. All of these guys seem like pretty terrible decision. <sighs> I've already... I actually, I've already rivaled, De uh, rivaled Denmark. And I think he's gonna be my next target. So I guess just for the sake of having some extra power projection, I'm just gonna go and like rival Brandenburg. Because he's weak. And... Costly embargo, only one in order. Yeah, I'm gonna re uh, revoke it. Soon. Um, what is that? Cardinal and, and administration. Stability cost, missionary strength, tolerance of the true fate, tolerance of the heretics. Or just prestige. Yeah, sure. Uh, so. Why couldn't revoke the embargo? Because I think I already set diplomat. So let's go and get back to speed 4. Uh, shouldn't be re embargo revoked automatically because we have a truce? Probably not. I don't know. And we need to rival Brandenburg. Or not rival, but embargo. Okay. So now we have 79 power projection. I like being above 50. Should help with our technology and points and just everything in general. And... How's our, like, unrest looking and stuff? I think we could afford waiting for our uh, for our war exhaustion to come down slightly at least. Just to get a little bit less... Uh, just to get a little bit less uh, cost on the... On the current cost. Cost on the current cost? Yeah. Just to get a little bit discount on the current cost, I probably should say. Uh, also, we have 500 ducats. And we have a little bit more of the force limit. For our boat, so we're gonna build an extra light ship. Why not? Mm hmm. So how long could I actually afford to wait? Because apparently we're getting some like Estonian separatists. Even though Estonia never existed bef in this game before, well, not in this game, but in this particular game, Estonia did not exist. But Estonian separatists do exist. And actually, Estonia does have cores in here. That's interesting. Mm hmm. Yeah. You probably need to fight with them. Uh, no matter what. Also, we could invest into admin technology. But considering how much stuff we actually need to core, I might wait a little bit on that. So I guess we're gonna wait like maybe two extra months. I'm just gonna wait until this core is gonna go down like once more. And then we're gonna start coring. Come on. Just just a couple extra points. Come on. Okay, Poland fabricates the claims on me. That's not ex uh, not really that unexpected. Okay, so cost gone down. Let's go and just score it all now. Mm. And Noble just wore it for no reason. And my corruption is growing. What's going on? Oh, because of our extension. Okay, yes, that's reasonable. But I'm working on that. We started our course. Is Latgalia actually a state or whatever? State modifiers expire. Okay. Um, it does have 75 autonomy. Why I could not... Cleveland is... What? Oh, okay. So I couldn't create a duchy. I, I would call it a duchy because it's just easier to call it a duchy from like a CK2. I couldn't create a duchy because of a Cleveland not being court. Okay, I guess it's reasonable. So, now we have a lot more lands. And we do have connection with Muscovy, even though I probably don't really... shouldn't be really that happy about that, but we also do have a connection for uh, with Denmarkian lands, or Denmarkian? Denmark lands in here. Uh, so, I should be, like, fabricating claims on them 
as soon as possible. And I think our next target gonna be Denmark. And I'm pretty sure Sweden should be willing, should be eagerly willing to help us in the war with Sweden, uh, with Denmark when it's gonna happen. So let's go and send a spy to here. Uh, start building our spy network. Actually, I do have, st still do have cores on all of that, right? Yeah, so it's gonna be quite uh, pricey for us to get uh, claims on some extra lands, but that should be fine. Also, let's go and get a new advisor in here. And we could get a new idea. But it would need to happen in the next episode, because actually there is time for me to have a break, guys, so... I'm gonna do this and we're gonna continue in the next episode. So, if you enjoyed watching this, you could leave a like if you want to see more, like subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment, you should definitely do it. And I would answer as soon as I could. See you later, guys. Bye-bye.